Disneyland. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Ooh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha ha! Ha ha! What was that? Dinosaur. <laughs> this is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah! Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. Ah! <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah! Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety, clickety, clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24 hour non-stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is Potato City, Mummy? It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. 
Here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. It's fantastic. How many tickets? Two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No, this is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow. Learn how they keep us fit and healthy. And get shot into space by the Potato Rocket. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the Potato Rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. <coughs> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Dinosaur. <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, Whee! where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Going to the zoo. <laughs> bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boom. We're all going to the zoo. <laughs> Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. 
This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. 